Hey, look at that. It's actually recording. Sweet. Alrighty. <laughs> so, I don't, I can't monitor my live thing today because I've got, uh, this is going to go here. I don't want to lock my, knock my laptop over. So, uh, if anybody's watching, throw out a hello in the comments. You know, we'd love to hear from you. And uh, I realize the wrong lower third is on, but I also left my laptop at home this morning, so I can't change that. It's, we're off to a good start today, but that's okay because it's Monday. And Mondays are meant for good starts. <laughs> good morning. Welcome to Photo Joseph's Photo Moment. Today, we're taking a little trip down memory lane. So over the weekend, we're cleaning out the garage. Okay, and by we, I mean my wife while I was watching the kid. I, you know, just in case she's watching. Um, and she pulls out this thing and she says, do you want to keep this? And I look at it and I go, oh, yes. This is so cool. I have to show this thing off. This is an awesome little piece of history here. So what this is, is a Pelican briefcase, laptop case, whatever you want to call it. It is the model 1495. We already got a link to this in the show notes. So you can check this out on the lines if you want to. I bought this because I went to, in 2007, so 10 years ago, I went to Kenya on a... Uh, on a, uh, uh, with a humanitarian organization to photograph the children that they were taking care of. And this, the whole point of this was to raise funds for, uh, to have photos to raise funds for future care for the orphans. Um, and this is completely self-funded. I paid for the trip myself, my side of it. So it didn't cost the organization anything, you know, that sort of thing. And, um, and obviously I went, cause uh, other than doing a wonderful thing, it was also a, just an incredible, I knew it was gonna be an incredible experience. And so, uh, Going out into Kenya, we we're in like deep, dark bush Kenya. Um, and hello, Ricardo. I'm glad the stream is working fine. Uh, I knew it'd be dirty, mildly, extremely dirty. And so I wanted a way to protect my computer equipment. And that's what this was. But this wasn't just a transport device. Oh, no. This is actually really cool inside, the way I've got this all rigged up. So I'm going to show you what's left in here. And then I just found a photo of the thing fully packed up. So you can see it with all of its bits and bits and pieces in glory. And actually how it was even used. That's kind of fun. And, uh, and then I'll show you some of the pictures from Kenya. Just, just a few. We're not going to get into a big whole thing. I think I'll do another photo moment some other day and talk really about that trip at large. But this is just about this little transport case. So uh, let's see here. If I've done this right, I do have a remote camera set up. Let's see here. Did I get that? I did. Excellent. Hello. So we're going to be able to switch to that once we open this thing up. This guy has... Oops. Lock that. Start over. Okay. So this guy has ridiculous leopard print padded handle thing on here because this was heavy by the time I put it all together and it hurt my little hand. So I put a padded thing on there. Anyway, this has four honking latches that will seal this thing tighter in a drum, keep all the dust and water and whatever you want out. In my case, obviously it was the dirt that I was worried about. Uh, it's got a combination lock dealio as well and two little things for, and this is the kind of thing that they transport the, you know, nuclear football in. It's kind of awesome. I just made that up. I don't know if that's true or not. So let's just, uh, let's open some of these things up. Oh, so, these hinges too, by the way, let me see if I can get a close up of these hinges. Cause this is so cool. The way these are done. They're these double, I have no idea what this is called. Kind of a double hinge thing that when you snap it down, that's full unlocked. And then to release it, it kind of comes up in two parts. I don't know. It's just a cool little hinging thing that really, really makes it super, super tight. Okay. So open that up, open this up, Rawr. open this side up. And uh, it's like a it's Pulp Fiction. Open it up, gold. Oh my gosh, what if I had arranged that? How cool would that have been? All right, open this up, a little combo lock piece and uh, gold light. It's cool. All right, turn this thing this way and uh oh, my switcher software just crashed. We'll oh, just give that a moment to reboot so that I can switch. There we go. All right, let's get this thing in here. So in the lid of this, of this, thing. These are cemented. It's so funny. This still smells 10 years later. It still smells like the glue, the epoxy that I used to put this whole thing together. That can't be good for you. Anyway, uh, so I've got here four Lexar Firewire CF card readers. At the time when I did this, I was shooting Canon. And so big old CF cards and uh, uh, multiple readers is one of those awesome things. I was using Aperture to manage the photos because I was still, this is when I was working at Apple and Aperture was my product at the time. It was one of the products I worked on. And um, so I half expect to find spiders or something in here. I don't know how they would have gotten in though. Um, African spiders, even better. 
Anyway, so with an Aperture, you could import from multiple cards simultaneously. It was awesome. And you could see all those cards in the import window. Awesome. And so I had boom, 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 four card readers in here. So let's see, we got in here four card readers all on Firewire. And these are daisy chained. You can kind of see that, you know, one into the other, into the other, into the other. And then let me undo this little Velcro, so a little Velcro thing holding off my holding off my cables. So all of those were going into a Firewire 400. That shows you just how old this is. And on this side, on Firewire 800, you can totally tell see that. I know this is going into a hub. Oh, although oh well, I guess this was Firewire 400 as well. Maybe I didn't have 800 drives at the time. Crazy, because this is an 800 cable. So that the laptop I had must have had an 800 port on it and a 400 port, but this is going into a 400 hub, which then had, at the time, two little uh, Firewire 400 cables coming out, and these Velcro strips here held two hard drives. I don't remember what was up here, and that was the power supply. So let's, uh, here, I gotta switch over to here. It's funny, like I said, I left my laptop at home today. Oops. And so uh, I had to quickly put the pictures over here onto my iPhone so that I can show them. Here we go. That would be this button. So there is, everything in place. So you've got, uh, I can't point, I have no way to point to this now. There we go. There's a hard drive. So a couple of little, probably lacy hard drives. Um, oh, that's a third hard drive. Okay. So I guess I had a third hard drive in there. It was maybe just a backup. That's funny. It has my business card from Apple on it. You can't read it. It's super low res. And then there's the power supply and uh, you know everything else. Okay. So that was that part of it. Um, so I could just open this up. Laptop went into a nice padded bag, but I can just pull the bag out and set it back on top here. There's this other little compartment. Let's go back to this view. Other little bag in here. I don't remember. I guess just cables and stuff went into there. But this was, I have no idea if this came with it or not. I really honestly don't remember. This is 10 years ago. But the laptop went into there to keep it nice and safe and secure. So I'd set the laptop on top of this and plug in the cables and obviously the power when available and off I go. So now, now we're gonna see something really cool. Let's let's look at, let me pull up the photo here. Oh good, it hasn't, oh no, there it is. Whew, thought I hadn't synced over. So here is the thing in use. So there's the case. I've got this, um, uh, what do you call that? Sunshade over it. I still have this thing actually, the sunshade. So a little sunshade that slipped over. So there you can see the laptop. You can see uh, whatever G3 model I think that was. And this down here, this is awesome. So that's another little mini case, not a Pelican, just some crappy thing that this came with. That is a power inverter that is plugged into my power supply that is connected to solar panels. So I had to rig, this is not, this is 10 years ago. You couldn't buy this crap off the shelf. I had to rig together my own little solar power rig so that I can use no power out there in the middle of nowhere. This is how I powered everything. This is how I powered my cameras. This is how I powered my laptop. It was all done through solar power, power oops, through these really quite antiquated uh, solar panels. I mean, nowadays you can buy a solar panel that folds up and fits in your pocket that probably produces 10 times the output of this thing. I'm making these numbers up, but it's pretty incredible. Uh, so here's another view of that. And you can see, see the solar panels there. And I would leave this thing in the sun all day long charging up my camera batteries and and uh, not the laptop. I had to leave that kind of, you know, obviously tucked away out of the dirt, but camera batteries would just sit out there charging up all day long. And I remember too, uh, there's an incident with a goat where a goat was eating my <laughs> charger. Goats like, well, I don't know, goats like wires. So they were trying to eat my thing. I kept having to shoo them away. I don't remember where we ended up putting it, but we found a place to put it to keep it safe. Anyway, so that's how that worked. Kind of cool, right? Isn't that neat? I thought that was cool. All right, let me just show you a few pictures of this uh, little journey here, and uh, and then we'll call it because I just I just wanted to share this old memory lane kit thing. Uh, let's go back to here iOS. Here we go. There's there's us. That's uh, the group that I was traveling with. Um, Carol on the left on on the yeah camera left there on her right. She was the founder of the organization that I was with, and uh, and they were crossing the equator with some of our crew. Some of the I mean our crew. These are the locals there. Let's see here. Let's just uh, pull up a couple of fun, fun photos. Oh, look, I love this. <laughs> they, the kids there loved my hair. And that was just this funny, bizarre thing. And this is, oh, that's actually, I'd forgotten that part of the story. That's when I shaved my head before this trip. Because I knew that obviously I'm going to be out in the sun all day long. Um, you're on the equator. It's hot. The sun is direct, hardcore, right? And uh, I am John Barker. Thank you for catching the live stream. I'm glad that you're here too. 
And so before I left and tried to figure out what am I going to do, you know, I could obviously wear a hat, but the problem with wearing a hat is then it gets in the way of the camera. Uh, and I don't like having to take my hat on and off, obviously, when I'm shooting. Um, I don't know. It just, it, I had to cover my head with something. And a bandana works too, I guess. But also I think it was part of it was the uh, knowing how dirty it was going to be. I wasn't going to be able to shower for properly for probably a couple of weeks. And, and I just figured, you know what? I'm going to cut it off. And I'll, I'll grow back when I come back. And I remember, it's so cute, uh, my daughter, who's now 15, who would have been five at the time. There you go. Look at that, 10 years. I remember coming home from the trip and um, letting her, you know, she's feeling the hair. And, and I got down on my knees and she's walking around kind of rubbing my head. And uh, I know, what do you think of it? And she's, hmm, she's pondering it. She's looking at me. She's looking at my hair, touching it. And she goes, I like it. I think you should keep it. And there you go. Never grew it out since then. Probably couldn't now if I tried to. Anyway, fun story. So let's see what else we got in here. Any other Fun little snaps I'll show you. Um, just some of the adventures of of uh, places places we climbed to, and and the vehicle that we had. And you know, sometimes these hills were so steep, the vehicle couldn't drive up, so everybody had to get out and push. Uh, let's see here. What else we had? I, I shot a lot of wildlife and nature kind of stuff too. Just you know, some beautiful nature photos, and we did go to a um, a you know, the Nukuru National Park. Uh, with Lake Nakuru in it. So we saw that. That was kind of cool. That was on the last day. It's fun. I've used these pictures for a lot of things. Monkey eating an invisible ice cream cone. And let's see here. And just give me an idea of some of the people we work with. Here's some of the kids. I just, I love it. These kids are so awesome. Um, let's see here. Feeding, you know, get, bringing, oops, bringing in the food. Where do we, there we go. Bringing in food for people. Just all kinds of fun adventures. Anyway, this whole thing, that's a trip. That's something we'll have to talk about another day because that in itself is just a huge, huge, huge story. Um, excellent. And oh, thank you, John, for becoming a patron. I really appreciate that. So I normally have the lower third here, but I got the wrong one up. And as I said in the beginning, I can't swap it out because I don't have my laptop. But um, if you haven't, if you like this sort of thing, you know, the whole ad revenue on YouTube is like, I'm going to have to get to, you know, a million subscribers before I actually start making any money on this thing. Um, so I'm trying to fund this through Patreon, patreon.com slash photojoseph. And a few people have signed up. Not many. Uh, I appreciate those few who have. I am John Barker. Thank you very much. You just told me you've signed up. I super appreciate that. And maybe possibly between that and the minimal ad revenue from YouTube, I can turn this into something bigger. I would like to do so much more with this show. Um, you know, it's, it's an evolution. We'll see what happens. Okay, that's that. I'm going to close this thing up and call it a show. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.